This is the KUSI News at 6.30. Welcome back to our live broadcast from Costera. Of course, May is Lupus Awareness Month, but a lot of people may not know about this inflammatory disease and how it impacts people's lives. There are some uh, interesting new treatments and ways to diagnose lupus now. And here to talk about that, we have Dr. Pooja Chitkara. She's founder and director of the Center for Arthritis and Rheumatologic Excellence. Also here is a patient, Christina Ballinger. You're also the vice president of the Lupus Foundation of Southern California. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for so a lot of people don't know what lupus is. In a nutshell, doctor, explain it for us. So lupus is an autoimmune condition. It is a condition in which the immune system starts to attack healthy tissues of the person. Um, so it can start affecting the skin, the joints, internal organs like the kidneys. It can present in many, many different ways. So it's really important to diagnose it early with a good diagnostic test, treat it early so that the patients have a good quality what of life. What happens if you don't treat it early? Well, the two problems. One, that they can have some really bad uh, manifestations of the disease and can affect their kidneys, uh, lungs, liver, heart. It can be life it can definitely be life-threatening, yes. Christina, for people watching at home, tell us about your situation and how you were able to detect that, that you had lupus. Right. So I was 18 when I was diagnosed. Um, I had a blood clot in my leg from the middle of my calf up to my thigh. Um, spent 14 days in the hospital, and that's when they ran tests and found out that I had lupus and a couple other autoimmune diseases. And what happened from that point on, the, the treatment? What, what, what did you, what, what, what so did you go through? So I've been on a lifetime of blood thinners, which I will always have. Um, my, the lupus, um, I also have factor five syndrome um, and another blood clotting disease okay. disorder. So. so you've got a lot going on there. Yes. Um, so how have the uh, treatments changed over the years, doctor? Are there some new treatments or are, are there a lot of options for patients like Christina who have lupus? Yes, definitely. Studies and research have really advanced the treatments for lupus. I mean, we still have to use some of the old stuff we used then, which is steroids initially to control the disease, but there's new medications on the market. It depends on the patient manifestations like you heard Christina's story. She probably needs a different regimen than other patients. And, but, and diagnosing at an early stage yes. is key and there's a San Diego company that has come up with some sort of a new diagnostic test is it? Yes, Exogen Labs, they're right here in San Diego in the Northern County. They have a test called AVIS Connective Tissue Disease. It's a biomarker test. It's got two uh, proprietary molecules uh, which are the cell bone complement activation products but also the CTD gives us a very very good diagnostic tool uh, because you can diagnose it with one test, you know, two little blood tubes and 22 different antibodies so definitely very helpful. Christina, how has lupus impacted your lifestyle, and what would you tell others who may, may be diagnosed with lupus? Um, it definitely makes you more aware, um, and you need to be an advocate for yourself, and I've had to learn that. Um, and speak up for yourself when you think something's going wrong or develop a relationship. You need relationships with your doctor as well. There's also lifestyle changes that you have to make, right? I mean, this is a lifelong disease. There's no cure for it. Right. And it kind of comes in and out of remission, right? Yes. Um, definitely, um, most people who have lupus have to stay out of the sun. Um, you just have to stay as healthy and try to stay as active as you can, but also be aware of your own body and get to know yourself and know when enough is enough and just take it easy. Right. And for more information for our viewers who are watching who want to learn about the new treatments, the new diagnostic test, and, and just ways to cope, are there support groups? Is there a website that you could lead Absolutely. us to? Absolutely. Yeah. LupusSoCal.org. Um, we do support groups and meetings that third Saturday of every month. We'll make sure and get that on the website. Yeah. We thank you both for coming down. Some great information. Yeah, we appreciate it. Uh -huh. yeah. Great. All right, we want to check in with Mark.